Coming up, I'll get to handle the latest assault rifle that is as accurate as it is deadly. We thought Americans couldn't shoot. Are you just <laughs> that This is the world's latest automatic assault rifle, the Tavor. It matches the firepower of the trusted M16 rifle, but it's a whole lot meaner. The state of Israel is no stranger to conflict. Lessons learned in urban warfare have driven the development of many weapons, including this, the latest in automatic assault rifles. It is a weapon that's easier to handle than the M16, yet it is as accurate as a sniper rifle. Shalom. I've come to this military installation just outside of Jerusalem to meet the Tavor the Israeli Army's brand new assault rifle, designed for the soldier of the 21st century. These young cadets are amongst the very first to train with this weapon, and supervising them is Lieutenant Colonel Mikey Hartman, one of the chief advisors on the Tavor's development. He's also a man who talks as fast as he shoots. Now, the older guys, they're going to be with the M4, the old weapon. And the young guys, they're going to be with the Tavor. That's a problem because if you're an old guy in the Israeli Army, you get all the you new stuff. You want the new yeah. toy. Yeah, you exactly. definitely want the new toy. So they're going to have to deal with that. And, uh, and we're going to try to make sure they don't steal it from the young guys. The Israelis began developing a smaller weapon that's easier to handle for urban combat, yet would still match the firepower of the M16 machine gun. The man at the head of the design team is Zalman Shebs. We thought that we can uh, achieve a better rifle than the M16 one. The M16 was introduced in the 1960s, and after 40 years, it's still in use all around the world. I like the design. I think the design is very, very smart. Well, it's a 40-year-old design, too. Yeah. It's still it's a, in use. Yeah, that's right. But, you know, Eugene Stoller was quite a genius yeah. by, his, by this design. When we were inside of sand, when we were in water, when we were in mud situations, we had problems with stoppages, the weapon wasn't working. Right. So we had a problem that soldiers would go to battle and they were not sure that their one weapon would work. That was a problem, a yeah, very absolutely. serious problem. The second problem is that the M16 is a long weapon, which means it's less suitable for close range combat and shooting around tight corners. Exactly what you'd find in urban warfare. The Tavor was designed to solve those two problems. It's a smaller automatic rifle that matches the firepower of the M16, but it's as accurate as a sniper rifle. Because we're dealing with the territories in Gaza or in, the, in, in Nablus and wherever it may be, we're dealing with close quarters all the time. Absolutely. Getting out of a, a truck, getting out of an armored personal carry, going inside of a room. Exactly. You, you have to make the weapon as short as possible. When you shorten a weapon, it makes things a lot, a lot easier. Your whole body, your whole silhouette is a lot smaller. Right. Okay? The enemy sees less, less of you because your weapon is shorter. Good shot. Now I'm going to stay right or left, and you hit the one I'm talking about. Left. Right. Well done. You flicked out the target. It is very balanced. Uh, your hands are a little tighter right here, but it's really light. Back here... The weight is actually put on your shoulders, and because it's weight on, the weight is on your shoulders, you don't have to move around as much. Uh, you don't have to, uh, the longer the barrel, the more the tendency is for the, uh, your sight picture to kind of just float around a little bit. This is really short, real compact. You can get really tight, and the tighter you can get your muscles, the actually easier it is to hold onto the target. The reason the weight is at the back is because that's where all the mechanics lie. This means the long barrel can be fitted further back into the weapon so that it doesn't increase its overall length. The weapon's a lot shorter, but I don't hurt the accuracy. The Tavor sprays the target with incredible firepower. The rate of fire is very similar to the M16. Very fast at around 15 rounds per second. This rate of fire is essential for urban warfare, where only the quickest survive. 
You want to teach the soldiers to shoot quicker. Shoot as fast as you can, as long as you hit. Unlike the M16, the Tavor has a built-in laser and Mars red dot sight so loved by hundreds of Hollywood action directors. By building the sight into the weapon, the soldier can fire it immediately without having to waste valuable time to line it up. Firstly, when I open up the safety, it turns on. So I have control over my sight. I don't have to, in the middle of a battle, turn on the sight. I can just turn on the safety. That's a great feature. Yeah, that's great. And also saves batteries, by the way. Exactly. And you don't forget it on by accident. It's... Secondly, it stays zeroed all the time, meaning because it's part of the barrel, as a soldier, he cannot take it off. As a former sniper myself, I want to see how accurate the Tavor can be. So try to aim at the head. Got it. Okay, unfortunately, my scope is in the car. I can get it and, say, and tell you where you're hitting, because basically you've got to find out where you're hitting and then fix it. To really test the sight, the Tavor and myself, Mikey challenged me to hit a head and shoulders target at the maximum end of the Tavor's optimum range, 300 meters. I just got to make sure I'm hitting. No, it's, it's a tough shot, and also it may not be zeroed for you perfectly. So. No, no, I just, I just need to see it. That's you, all. you shot incredibly well for 50 meters. Beautiful. Good shot. <laughs> I wouldn't shoot again either. <laughs> What's that? Stop now. <laughs> well done. Well done. Well done. That, that was good. Uh, 300 meters standing up shot. That's beautiful. Now, short weapon, 300 meters standing up. You can't ask for more than that. Good shot. What was good is we thought Americans couldn't shoot. Now, you just you brought that down to us. <laughs> well, you know, every once in a while we get lucky. I just kind of roll the dice on that one. I say it's my weapon because it's, it's my weapon. It's your weapon, weapon exactly. <laughs> I just love the way this weapon handles. Since 2000 until now, we have been testing the Tavor and, and building it and making it better and fixing it and fixing it and making it better. And uh, now in this August uh, of this year, we have about four or five more months that's going to go into one of our infantry units. You know, I say to myself, I can, I can sleep quietly now knowing that this is coming. Coming up.